Today we will show you how to hand apply our water-based top coats for indoor projects. They are low odor, spray beautifully, and clean up with water. In this demo we will be applying flat out flat to a bench, painted in our new midnight blue chalk style paint. Flat out flat was developed as a matte top coat with a velvety feel that mimics the look and feel of wax. As you can see, all water-based top coats are milky white in the can but they dry clear. Mix the contents thoroughly and continue to stir throughout your project. Never shake water-based top coats. Shaking creates bubbles that will mar the finish. Flat Out Flat contains more matting agents than our high performance. These slightly reduce transparency, so be sure to test the look to your satisfaction, especially over dark colors. Temperature and humidity impact the flow and dry time of your finish. To increase open time, Add 10 to 15 percent extender. First, gather your favorite application tools, foam brushes and a pad applicator covered with a nylon footie. We use the footie because it contains loose fibers in the pad and reduces bubbles during the application. Tom? First, condition your applicator by dampening it in water and extender. And this helps prevent the brush from absorbing too much material to begin with. So I just like to have them keep soaked in a damp rag and now I'm ready to apply my top coat. All right, I'm going to start on the bottom side of the bench here. The bench has been painted and the paint's been completely dry. And I always start from the bottom. Now, not everybody sees this, but this is important to seal the bottom side of it. I'm going to work right out of the can here, my foam brush. And I'm just going to cut in my corners just nice, long, uniform, even strokes. Now the first coat's going to go down a little bit rougher, so I can come back and always detail in any corners if I need to. Use plenty of material. Don't dry brush the product. Put the product on liberally so you get a good, even wet film. This is a tight little bench here, so I'm using a three inch foam brush. My rule is the larger the surface I'm Finishing, the larger the applicator I want to use. Let's go up, get inside here. And I'll come back and I will feather this out with a second brush. I always use more than one brush when I'm finishing a project. Okay, just get that on. And you can kind of see a little bit of a little bit of bubbles, a little bit of foam, so you just come back and feather that right out. Those bubbles will dissipate as the product dries down. See? There. If you miss something, don't worry about it. We're going to come back with a second application anyways. We'll come around here. A little table like this, a little bench like this, is going to take about probably 10, 15 minutes. And take your time. There's no hurry here. We want to get this done correctly. So. I'm going to set it up. If I see any areas, it's good to work in good light too. It's important to have proper lighting so you can get the right angle and you can see your material go down. Just watch that, how it flows. And be careful not to overwork the material. Don't back brush it too much. Just flow it on and let the product level. That'll put fewer brush strokes in your finish. There we go. All right, let's just go to the top. And again, I'm just gonna drag that out nice and uniform. You should be able to see a nice even sheen across the surface. Any dry spots will stand out. and You'll know if you missed a spot. That's why it's good to have lighting angled behind you so you can get a good view of your surface when you're working at it. Now this, this is a pine bench. It's going to be dry so it's going to pull that finish down into the wood. So our first coat I'm not going to be too concerned about if I miss an area. If I come back I can scuff sand it and apply a second coat. Now this will dry down. It's going to start to dry in about five to ten minutes depending upon temperature and humidity. But what's nice about this is it'll dry quickly. So that's just our first coat. So now we're going to change out our benches. All right. The 
The first layer of top coat on this has dried and Tom will show you how to finish sand and how much easier that second coat goes down. This bench was uh, painted and it's got one coat of the high performance on it. I'm using a 220 sanding pad. I always just make sure I rough it up a little bit so it's not too coarse. And you can hear and see that first coat of finish. The paint's been sealed off now. And what you're looking for is just a, a light powder. That tells me that my finish is completely dry. And you can run your hand across it and it's silky smooth. That's what's really nice about that product. And wipe it off. Just my tack cloth here so it's clean. I don't want any dirt or debris left on my surface there. And I'm going to take my brush and apply my second coat of finish. Now here we're using the flat out flat. So this will dry to a real low luster, very soft velvety sheen. I'm just going to use the same brush. If it gets to be a, a, a while before you get to your second coat, just put your brush in a cup of water or a bowl of water and just let it sit there. Wring it out on a paper towel and you're ready to go. But see how uniform and even that next coat of finish went down. Cover that up. There. You know, some projects we're going to always say two to three coats of finish. The more use the project's going to, to use, uh, if you're going to have a, a bench that's in a coffee table or we're going to use it in a children's room, a couple extra coats of finish will just protect your work. There. There. Come back with your second brush if you need to and just touch up the areas. We're going to put another coat on this when this is dried. For large projects, we use a sprayer with a medium-sized fluid tip. See our spraying video at the end of this segment for details. Whatever your application method is, we recommend three to four layers of top coat. Let each coat dry two to four hours and sand between with a 220 sanding pad. And this is how the bench looks finished with three coats of flat out flat. Aaron's Tips High performance and flat out flat are for indoor projects only. Never use long oils such as linseed, danish, or tongue oil with water-based products. Dry time to recoat, two to four hours. Wait 72 hours before applying water-based top coats over oil finishes. Our finishes are engineered to be compatible with each other. Test to your satisfaction when using with other brands. GF also has a full line of professional finishes formulated for spray applications. For design ideas, visit our design center at designs.generalfinishes.com. Thanks for watching this video on how to apply water-based top coats. If you've enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.